dance? Yeah. No, you're supposed to say, you can't dance. You can't dance. What? <gasps> that reminds me of one of my favorite books called Giraffes Can't Dance. Our art lesson today is all about learning how to draw a giraffe, but a dancing giraffe like Gerald from the book Giraffes Can't Dance, and learning how to create value because this story takes place at nighttime when Gerald finally hears this song and learns to dance. So, I'm going to show you how to get started with your very own Giraffes Can't Dance. Wow. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. Should we get started drawing our giraffe? Yeah. All right. To start your very... Our learning goal for this art lesson is that you will be able to create movement and value by painting the sky in the background using tints of blue, so different values of blue. To get started with your very own dancing giraffe, you need a 9 by 12 piece of white paper and a pencil. I'm going to start at the very top of my paper drawing the giraffe's head. It's an oval shape, but it's kind of pointy at the end. Then I'm going to draw a line, a really long line for his neck that curves down. And then a line for his arm, the other arm, and I want them pointing up like he's dancing or striking a pose. And his leg should go all the way down to the bottom of the paper. Now I'm adding details like the eyes, which are closed because he's listening to his music and concentrating. I'm adding lines around his legs so they don't just look like sticks. They actually look like real giraffe legs. Now I'm also going to add a line at the bottom for the grass and then a big circle in the sky for the full moon because that is when he learned his song. And now once I've finished with pencil, I'm gonna trace over all my pencil lines with Sharpie. Now I really just wanna trace over the lines that I like the best. So if there was a line that I drew at first that I really didn't like or don't need, then I'm not gonna trace that one. So I'm tracing the outside lines that go around my draft really neatly. Now, once I finish drawing all over all of the pencil lines, then I can trace his mane and add some little spots because drafts have a really cool pattern on their body of different spots. Now I've traced the grass and the moon and I'm gonna get a yellow marker and I'm gonna color my draft's body yellow. But first, I'm going to erase all of those pencil lines that I don't want to see. So those aren't the ones that I need anymore. Now I'm going to color neatly inside of all the positive space inside of my draft. Around the draft is the negative space. We're going to paint that, so don't color that with marker. Now, after I finish coloring neatly with yellow, then I am ready to get the orange. Now you can put your markers away because all that space in the background, we're not going to be coloring, we're going to be painting. So we want to practice creating value. Remember, value is the range of light to dark colors. So you need a cup of water, a small paintbrush, and you need white and blue paint. When you mix the white with the blue paint, you create something called a tint. And you can see I'm using the lightest tint of blue, the very light blue, and I'm painting around the moon. The next shade of blue is going to be a medium blue, so it has white paint but also more blue paint. So I'm going to paint the medium blue next to the light blue and fill in the negative space around my draft. The rest of the sky, I'm going to use that dark blue. Ooh, watch out little draft, you're going to get dark blue paint on you. So now I have three different values of blue, light, medium, and dark. So I can wash out my paintbrush, and at the bottom, I'm going to paint the grass not just green, but I'm going to mix yellow and green to make little brush strokes that look like grass. 
Now my dancing giraffe looks finished. So I'm gonna write my name on it. I'm gonna put it on the drying rack and let it dry. So that's how you make your own dancing giraffe. I hope you have fun making value and movement and good luck.